given that the t is irrational, given that t is prime, we want to prove that the t is irrational. First, we assume that the t is rational, which means there exists m n, which are positive integers such that root p equals m over n and the greatest common divisor of m n is 1. Now square both sides and rearrange so we can now write m squared equals p n squared from m squared equals p n squared we can see that p divides m squared. If p divides m squared, then does p also divides m? Now we'll prove that if p is prime, then p divides m. If p doesn't divide m, then the greatest common divisor of p um is one the dude's identity if a b are integers and the greatest common divisor of a b is d then there exists x y which are integers such that the x plus b y equals d by applying this, there exists x, y, which are integers such that px plus my equals 1. Now, square both sides, and we can now write px plus my all squared equals 1. By expanding, we can now write p squared x squared plus 2pxmy plus m squared y squared equals 1. Clearly, we can see that p divides the first two terms. We know that p divides m squared, so p also divides the third term. Since p divides all three terms, on the left hand side. So P divides the right hand side, which means P divides 1. However, this is clearly a contradiction as P is prime. Thus, P divides M. So there exists K, which is an integer such that M equals pk. Now square both sides since we know that m squared equals pn squared. So we can now write p squared k squared equals pn squared. We can see that p on the left hand side and that on the right hand side cancel. So we can now write p k squared equals n squared from p k squared equals n squared. We can see that p divides n squared. We just proved that if p divides n squared and p is prime, then p divides n as p divides m and p divides n. So this is a contradiction as the greatest common divisor of m, n is 1. Hence, root p is irrational. The proof is now complete.